these are the two major important aspects to be a righteous person. Do you all know the laws? Who created the Indian Constitution? Or the father of Indian Constitution? Or Dr. Very good. Thing. So he is the one who assembled, who, who has written the constitution of having, you know, studied so many laws of different countries. And today we could see St. Joseph being the just and righteous person. Just and righteous person. And after having said that, Mary was conceived after the betrothal, after the engagement. And he was unwilling to shame her, put her into shame, and he was silently resolving from that problem. She wanted, he wanted to leave her quietly without telling anybody. Joseph had four times dreams. In the dream, angel of the angel Gabriel came, angel of the Lord came to him and said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. This is the first dream. Do you all have dreams? What dreams? What did Abdul Kalam say? Think big, dream big, 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 right? Do you all have dreams? Maybe hallucinations. Some snakes are coming, right? Huh? So many I hear from the students, they get get afraid of the dark darkness. We all get afraid of darkness. But what phobia I guess? Nictophobia, right? When you when you see the darkness, you get afraid. That is a kind of phobia. Okay, it's a disorder. So the angel Gabriel comes to Joseph in the dream to say, Don't leave Mother Mary. Don't leave, don't leave Mary and take her as your wife. And he took her and he understood the plan of God. One great person writes, How can I accept the plan of God? How can I fit into that plan of God? That was the uh, imaginary words of St. Joseph. How can I work with the plan of God? How can I fit into the plan of God? So you all have a great dream for your future. And the plan is made by God. God has planned for every one of you. Not that you are just accidentally born. You have a purpose. Every one of you have the purpose, not just simply accidentally came into this world, but everyone has the plan. The parents have the plan, before which they had the plan, and now you have the plan by God. Birth is not accidental, it is actually plan of God. What is it? Every birth is the plan of God, is the gift of God to every parent. And you are the kids. You are the kids of the Holy Spirit. And
the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was free and entered the day with his passion, took the bread, giving thanks, broken gave his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sapa was sent with the challenge, someone's for giving thanks, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the challenge of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins and do this in memory of me. is for